Dude, if it says don't open. What'll happen if we open? It's probably gonna fall out into the street. Let's just leave it what alone. If we just... How is this classified as an apartment? This is literally just a closet. I don't know how you're gonna live here. View is pretty sweet though. Look at that. <laughs> So the New York City subway is back in action. It's now back to 24 hour service. But if it's 24 hour service at a lower level than the already reduced service that we've had for over a year, that will be lousy. Anyways, today making a video with somebody else for their YouTube channel and we're gonna go see an $800 apartment right here in Manhattan, which I've actually never done a video on before. This will be my first time going here, but I think this is gonna be one of the smallest, tiniest places you could possibly rent. So that right there, that's the building. This guy with the scaffolding, starting to get a little warm out. Never know how to dress this time of year. $100, please. $100? He told me this is $100. Have you ever gotten away with that with anybody? I appreciate that it's only a dollar. Thank you. Guys, this is John from Here Be Bar. We've done some videos in the past. Yep. This is his brother, Alan. Can you tell that they're twins? I can't even tell. Which one is the evil twin? Both of them. Both of them. I'm just kidding. kind of a fire escape view, but you can see all the green. And there's definitely sunlight from one end to the other. We've got five feet, 10 inches by 11 feet. That outlet by the door is gonna be where you set up a hot plate. Next to that, you can use this other outlet and have some dressers, possibly a mounted TV on the wall. And then over here by the window, again, I'm gonna think this is the best spot for a bed. You're probably gonna wanna put it lengthwise against the wall. The ceilings in here are nine feet, 11 inches, so you could get like a bunk bed. And if you have your bed up here, then you can put stuff underneath it and that's gonna give you about 50% of your living space back. No, let's not well, open it. Well, don't. Well, it says don't. What'll happen if we open? It's probably gonna fall out into the street. Dude, if it says don't open, let's just leave it alone. Just... Not bad, right? I, I'd pay 800 a month just to come here for the views, maybe. I don't know. The room measures 15 feet, 10 inches by 7 feet, 2 inches. Let's get the window open and check out the view. Okay, honestly, this street probably has other property on it that costs way more than this. You've also got this really cool fireplace. This makes me think this whole apartment was part of a much larger apartment at one point. But up here, you could put cool stuff like a TV or even maybe a little shrine or something down here. It's an option. On this side, I'd probably put dressers and a couple standing closets. If I was at a different point in my life, I could make this work. If your marriage doesn't work out. You could get yourself like a standing countertop, put a microwave, put a hot plate. But I'm realizing now if you do that, you're gonna have to do your dishes in the bathroom sink. Over there down the hall. Where? Right over here. That's it. Things here are old, but they are clean. You've got a sink, and there are lots of mirrors, no medicine cabinets. Not fancy, but definitely doable. Think of this place like honest opinion uh it, it just feels like every other apartment you've ever showed me literally like i feel it's exactly the same they're mad because this apartment's not special enough for their video <laughs> 
So the reason that we came here is because this is a two bedroom apartment, which is in the budget friendly spectrum. And this is about what you should expect to get if you've got a roommate and you wanna pay around a thousand bucks each. This is 2750, so 1325 each. And instead of a nice quiet tree line street, We've got 23rd Street. Right over there's the front door, and after you walk in, this is the living space. And as you can see, it's not massive. It's 10 feet, 10 inches long, six feet, 11 inches wide. On this wall, you could put a small leaf table that folds up and down, which would go in this area, and then against the brick wall. Over here, you could put a couch, and you could mount a TV right there. The kitchen here is also really nice. Full-size fridge, dishwasher. This oven looks like it's brand new. Still got the sticker. And there is also a sink sprayer. And there's a microwave. The street facing room's eight feet, nine inches by seven feet, 10 inches. And remember, this is 1325, so it's a little bit more money. But you've got a closet, and overall, this is definitely a lot nicer. Now, the second room is all the way down the hall here, nine feet, three inches by eight feet, six inches. So these two rooms are definitely about the same size, but the view here is not as good as what the first one had. And it's kind of a bummer. There's no closet. I guess that this would work pretty well if you were using the apartment as like a one bedroom. You could sleep in this back room. This could be like an eat-in kitchen. And then I guess you could take this street facing room and turn this into like a home office or your living space. This is so much less threatening looking than that first place's bathroom. I would hate sharing a bathroom. I used to live in an apartment with a shared bathroom many years ago. I could not go back to it. Got some vanity lights, got a window. Nice big medicine cabinet in here too. Look at that. With a mirror on the inside. Is that overkill? It's got kind of an interesting lobby. Feels good walking in, that's for sure. I really need to stop drinking these. You've got an apartment for me. When can I go see it? Can I go Friday? Friday, 12.30. She has a luxury apartment and I get to see it Friday. I'm gonna send everybody to you, not your friend. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. So we have a bit of a situation. What do you think's gonna happen when we turn that on? Massive cloud of dust. This probably hasn't been turned on in like a year and we think there's gonna be dust everywhere. Who's gonna flip the switch? All right, hold on, let me get my stuff. Oh, you can hear the particles. Let's get out of here. Get your food. <laughs> So we don't know how long that AC has been off for, but what we do know is that if we let it run all night long for eight, nine hours, tomorrow morning there is guaranteed to be a layer of dust on everything, but that it should hopefully have expelled all of its dust and be safe to be around. Thanks for watching. Pick another video and I will see you in the next one.